Namaskar, my name is Sharika Kaul. I'm 14 years old and live in Dallas, Texas. I'm going into ninth grade at Rock Hill High School. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Kashmiri mystic Lal Dead, the struggles she had to go through during her spiritual journey, and explain the meaning behind a few of her box. One of the intriguing things about her box is how they are still relevant to current times. Lal Dead was a Kashmiri poet and mystic who spent most of her life trying to connect with God and reach the higher truth. It is said that Laldad was born in the year 1320 and was married off at the young age of 12. She was renamed Badmavati as that was the tradition at the time. However, today she is still known as a Brit name, Laldad or Laleshwari. Laldad suffered many challenges in her early life, as she found traditional ways of praying in the mandir and social norms such as that to be useless or irrelevant. Being born a woman during that time period would also have added difficulties to Laldad's spiritual journey, as women during that time were not treated like men and were expected to only handle the household chores. Laldad was treated harshly by her new family. Her mother-in-law, while serving Laldad food, would cover a stone with a thin layer of rice to make it seem like she gave a lot of food to her, when really she was starving Laldad. Because of these harsh treatments, Laldad left her family at the age of 24 and sought to find a guru to teach her Kashmiri Shaivism and started her spiritual journey. From there, she would record her journey through her verse called Lalvax. Before looking at Laldad's box, let us first see what a Lalvax is. Lalvax are mystic poems and verses that were spoken by Laldad. Laldad's box were about life, her spiritual journey, and the struggles she had to go through. Some mocks contain morals or lessons that can even be applied to our life today. There are about 300 vox in total, and the word vok was derived from the Sanskrit root vach, which literally means speech. This defines the term lalvak as lal speech. Now that we have defined what lalvaks are, let us look at a few vox that are related to everyday life. Rutta krutta soroi pazan Kananna bozan achanna bav Orukta pun yali vanda buzi Ratan deep prezu yam varzin yavav This walk gives you advice about how you should not get overly happy by good times and extremely sad by bad times. Both good and bad times are a part of life and will keep coming and going. If you let yourself get carried away by good times or get put down by bad times, then you won't be able to live life to the fullest and will always let the outcomes of events determine your emotions. <laughs> This walk translates to, though you are wise, be as a fool. Though you can see, be as one blind. Though you can hear, be as one deaf. Patiently bear with all you meet and politely talk to everyone. This practice will lead you to the realization of the truth. This walk explains how you should always be patient with others and shouldn't try to outspark them or prove that you are better than them. Although you may know more than others, it is best to be kind and humble rather than boasting and bragging about knowing more than everyone you meet. The English translation is, In life I sought neither wealth nor power, nor ran after the pleasures of sense. Moderate in food and drink, I lived a controlled life and loved my God. This walk explains how you should be content with what you have and should not run after power or pleasure. While eating and drinking, you should have it in limited portions and should not have greed for more. And lastly, always be thankful to God. 
This walk is very relevant to current times and is applicable to kids and adults as it provides them direction about how to lead a content life. Ami pana sodras navi chasulaman kati boz daimyon neti di This walk in English would be With a rope of loose spun thread, I am towing my boat upon the sea. Would that God heard my prayer and brought me safe across. Like water in cups of unbaked clay, I run to waste. Would God I were to reach my home. This walk explains that while doing tasks that seem impossible, you should turn to God and ask for help. Because even the tasks that seem unachievable can be achieved with God's help. Laudat gives an example of trying to pull a boat with a weak piece of thread. While the task seemed impossible, one can succeed with God's help. Now that we have looked at some mocks that are relevant to your daily life, let us look at the vox that Laldet has spoken about her spiritual journey and what struggles one has to go through to gain moksha. The spiritual journey is a long and difficult one. It can be so difficult that the bottom of your feet may wear out and ache a lot. There will be a lot of distractions that you may encounter along the way. Love that advises us to keep Om in mind and to continue the journey without yielding to distractions. Guaran vanenam kunu ivatsun nyabridapanam andareyatsun sri kaulale me vaatvatsun tavayotam nangainatsun In one spiritual journey guru is the most important aspect in this book, Laldad talks about the advice her guru gave her, which was to drop all attachments to the materialistic world, and instead focus on herself and her spiritual quest. For one to be able to gain enlightenment and attain moksha, one needs to focus inwards. <laughs> In this walk, Lalda explains how she knew that people would insult her and would not consider her spiritual quest to be acceptable. However, Lalda knew that the path that she was taking was the right one. So, she continued with her journey and erased others' doubts from her mind. Laldev is conveying to us that even if people mock and taunt us, we should not get affected. In fact, we should not even hate people who do such things to us. She says that as long as God's grace is with you, nobody else's thoughts or opinions matter. Tanman 
तत् जाय धारनाय धारनाद तुम आकाश प्रकाश कोरुम सार This walk would have been spoken after Lalith has faced all of the challenges and difficulties in her quest. It explains how she was able to meditate and that she could hear the bells of truth ringing and experience the feeling of transcending space and light or finally attaining moksha. After researching about Lalith, I was able to understand why she is held in such high regard as a Kashmiri mystic and poet. There is a lot of valuable information in Lalde's box about different aspects of daily life and how you should handle yourself in the face of adversity and criticism from others. Her box talk about how we are able to gain strength to face life's difficult situations with the help of God. A lot of Lalde's box are about spirituality and Kashmiri Shaivism, which focuses on the non-dual philosophy, like Advaita Vedanta. In these box, Lalded talks about how one needs to look inwards for higher truth or attaining moksha. Namaskar.